morning, good afternoon, and good evening if you're watching. This is Miro African Diaspora TV. Welcome to Biafra Today. This is essentially a program where we discuss social and political issues as well as cultural issues affecting the life of Biafran schoolmen and abroad. In today's program, we are going to talk about Dan Etete and his connection with Eni, the petrol company from Italy. He's, uh, um, he's undergoing a trial in Italy currently, and to discuss this issue, I have with me today Mr. Giuseppe Lugueri. Um, Giuseppe Lugueri, you are the author of the book called Africa, the Grandi Logi, and uh, you're also a writer. You're, the issue we wanted, we have to discuss today has been published in uh, Focus on Africa. So, Mr. Lugueri, welcome to the show. Good afternoon. Thanks for inviting me. Good. We, our first question I would like to ask you is um, this Dan Etete. We know he's an oil, he used to be an oil minister in Nigeria. And is there any other thing you know about him apart from uh, this information? Yes, he has already been tried in France okay. because of um, laundering of money. He was convicted, so he's already known as a corrupt man. Now in Italy, he's accused of corruption, of receiving bribes, and uh, the prosecutor has, asked, has requested 10 years of prison for him. So although he's still considered innocent, we are waiting in the next month for the final sentence about this case of Dan Etete. So now, essentially, he is a convicted man in Italy. No, in France. In France. France is a convicted man. And there is the, this is, uh, there is the process. I mean, the, uh, the trial is in process in Italy. Yes. And uh, um, it, it was a huge discussion, as you, I mean, it's, uh, it's a trial, tri the trial of an oil magnet that has to do with Shell as well. It's not just like, like a small person that steals something from his country, but it's a big money that is involved. How much is it actually? Yes, it is $1 billion. So it is a very big bribe. There are involved also the leaders of Shell and Eni from Italy. So the chief executive officer of Italy, that is called Claudio Descalzi, is also accused. And the prosecutor has requested eight years of prison for him. Eight years? Eight years for Descalzi and ten years for Danetete. And Danetete has, I mean, this discussion has been going on since 2000 and. Uh, 11, if, yes. I'm, if I'm correct, I'm not very correct. 2011. Yes. Yeah. And uh, but he has not been tried in Nigeria. Do you know if he has been tried in, in any of Nigerian uh, uh, courts uh, for this? Um, because there has been accusation uh, of bribery and corruption in Nigeria against him. Mm. So I don't know about this, but what I know that uh, the, go the government of Nigeria has requested to the Italian court that the Eni and Shell should pay $1 billion to the people of Nigeria. And this was done through the lawyer, Mr. Lucio Lucia. Mm -hmm. He has requested this money of $1 billion that supposed to be paid back to the people of Nigeria. And uh, the, present, uh, uh, the president of Nigeria, how, is he, how does he react to this news, this bombshell, if you will? I mean, has he said anything against it so far? Do you know? Is there any discussion? Yeah, what I know, at least what we know in Italy, that the president of Nigeria of today, Mr. Buhari, is known as an anti-corruption man. It seems that he has already uh, helped uh, the trial of 600 persons in Nigeria for corruption. He has a very strong uh, anti-fraud authority with policemen, with judges. So in Italy, he has a good reputation as an anti-corruption man. In Italy? In Italy. Wow. Okay. Um, I want to tell you this. Buhari himself, um, although he's, he has a good reputation in Tibet, I want to remind you of that Buhari himself also has a corruption story. He is involved in a very big oil scandal, if you will. I mean, he has a case of, of um, not quite bribery, but um, yeah, misappropriation of fund, of oil fund. Let's show the viewers this video so that they understand what we're talking about. To support. As a result, the government forfeited $60 million to the contractors 
and rail transport in Lagos and Nigeria stalled for over 20 years. One of Fela's hit songs was based on the disappearance of 2.8 billion naira in missing money that was stolen under Buhari's watch as petroleum minister and head of the NNPC in 1978. So, now that the viewers themselves have seen this, it's left for them to join. However, this is not uh, our discussion for today. We want to focus on the Etata, uh, Dan Etete and, and so on. And you possibly, I mean, you, you think there are, there are other people that is related in this corruption. I mean, Dan Etete must not be the only one that is involved in it. Yes, yes, we have two persons, Mr. Emeka Obi okay. and Mr. Dinardo. In 2018, these two people were condemned to four years of prison for corruptions. Mm -hmm. These two persons are called the mediators, so the middlemen that were doing the interest of Eteta in one side and the interest of any shell in the other side. So at a certain moment, Emeka Obi thought that Dan Eteta did not pay him enough money he went to court in London and the court of London said that yes, Emeka Obi is right, he's supposed to get some money and he got it. But later on, the Italian authorities frozen this money mm -hmm. because the man was condemned to four years of corruption. So this was in 2018. Condemned in India. Condemned in Italy. Yes, he accepted the condemnation. The, he, he did not want to go to appeal. Okay. So this uh, sentence is definitely so accepted the judgment. He has, he has accepted the, the, the judgment. Yeah, the okay. Yeah, I mean, it is interesting to hear about all these things, and uh, that I mean, we always think that Europeans they are actually the, the architect of our downfall in Africa. That they 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 put a lot of hand in in uh, they support people who essentially uh, bring us down. That this trial that is going in Italy, at least it can be said that the Italians have credit for this good work. Stop. So this issue of uh, any, I mean, the name any, it has to do with an abbreviation, right? Yes. Uh, originally it was an abbreviation and then uh, it changed. Could you just um, expand, I mean, just uh, shed light, put shed light on... on yes. Uh, any means Ente Nazionale Hidrocarburi, so National Authority for Oil, uh, etc. So it started after the war, it was owned 100% by the state. Later on, there was a little bit of change. Today, the states own 30% of any, so the states has a golden share about any. Yeah. And they are, of course, they are aware of all this bribery, all this um, yeah, misappropriation, uh, mischievous. Uh, Deeds uh, from, I mean, that is going on with, Af yes. that's going on in Africa. Yes. In connection with uh, the Dan government Etete. is aware of this. The former Prime Minister Renzi tried to defend the company in the Parliament, but today that uh, the evidence is very strong against them, the Prime Minister of Italy, new Prime Minister, is keeping quiet, silent, does not comment about mm -hmm. the case. You know, I, I ask you this question because. It's very sad to know that uh, uh, the black man has a problem, and this problem is not just that his own brother man is uh, at, uh, attacking him from behind, and uh, but also that the, it is the the foreign countries that actually put the black man, for example, Nigeria, in the circumstance in which they are today. Uh, we have millions, thousands. I'm not saying millions, thousands of young men that left that country called Nigeria. Uh, traveling to Italy, they die on the way, uh, going through the roots of, uh, uh, what is it called? Um, Lampedusa. Lampedusa, if you will, that I think uh, um, everybody kn knows that a lot of people have died in the uh, uh, desert, uh, trying to get to Italy. And uh, it is so sad to know that the, the country where they, want, where they want to go and find refuge actually is the country that ripped them down. I mean, is, is that not sad? That's very sad. Is, because essentially, I have to leave my country to go to Italy to live, but it, they are the maker of my problem. And I'm not talking, this is, this is not the case for Italy alone. We have it with other Europeans. Um, 
you find a lot of young men from Africa and Europe trying to survive. They, they are essentially the cause of their problem because they help to rip them down. They help the bribery and everything that happened in their own country and they behave as though they know nothing about it. Well, um, I would like to thank you for coming for the studio today. And uh, yes, I hope to see you next time. Thank you very much. Thank you for the invite. Let's, let's, let's do it this way. Okay.